Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's great to be talking to you all today. It is Friday, March 27th, 2020, and we've got another great social studies lesson planned for you today. So if you go ahead into Google Classroom, you can see if you go to classwork, I already posted today's lessons. If you go to the turn in doc, you'll see that I've got the presentation and the document that you're supposed to fill out. Open both those up. And to start things off, all right, first question is, <clears throat> please only share what you feel comfortable sharing, all right, y'all? Only share what you feel comfortable sharing. Um, you have been at home for two weeks. What are some dilemmas that you are going through? Are there, that's supposed to be, are any, are there any arguments happening at home? Has anything helped to alleviate these issues? If everything is going really well, why do you think you're having such success? And again, please only share what you feel comfortable sharing. All right. And for this one, there is no need to comment. You do not need to comment. But if you do comment, please be empathetic. All right. And compassionate of what others might be going through. Remember, empathetic means to show an ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Alrighty, we're all doing, going through different stuff in this crisis, so only share what you feel comfortable, and if you are gonna comment, please make it an empathetic comment, all right? Cool. Uh, you can go ahead and pause the video to answer this question. All right, the game plan for today is I have some announcements. You got an email yesterday from the principal. I just kind of want to go over some of those announcements really quick. I want to go over some, uh, just one ethical dilemma um, because I didn't want to make the lesson too long um, and I have some other stuff that I want to do too um, to see um, and see if we can come up with ways to solve these dilemmas, all right? Then we're going to go over data based on the data from the surveys, all right? And then we're, you're going to work on your magazine project. Paragraph two is due today. Not yesterday. It was a mistake. It's due today. All right. So the big announcement is, as you may have heard, schools are going to be closed until May 1st. That means all of April, we're going to be working from home. All right, everybody. They also announced that grades are going to be due April 8th. So what does that mean? I'll be available all uh, every day for the next week so that you can make up any writing if you need to. All your grades should be fully updated by the end of today, all right? I'm gonna try to make sure they're all super fully upgraded. You'll have your Christ Commanded essay um, and your mural essays up there, um, all with the regrades if you've done, if you sent me, um, I sent and asked me to regrade some stuff, okay? Last but not least, Google Classroom. Your parents got an email uh, to sign up as your guardian on Google Classroom. Let me know if they need any support with this. Let's go ahead and get started with our first activity, which is Carrie's Digital Dilemma. What you're gonna do is you're gonna read Carrie's Digital Dilemma. Then you're gonna answer the questions in the worksheet and then on Google Classroom. The links are above, all right? So the reading's right here. You can go ahead and click that and it'll take you to Carrie's Digital Dilemma. Read about Carrie's Digital Dilemma, right? And then, Answer the questions. If you'd like, there's an audiobook that I created uh, on this too if you want to uh, have the reading read out loud to you. All right, once you answer the questions, you're going to uh, first answer them here, and then you're gonna post your responses on Google Classroom. And you can see I've already had number one, number two, number three. Um, so they're already all up there, okay? After that, you need to respond to somebody in each one. So say who you responded to for number one, who you responded to for number two, and who you responded to for number three. All right? Don't forget to do that. It's super important. All righty? Don't forget to keep scrolling down because there's more stuff to do after that. Feel free to pause the video for now and come on back when you're done. Great. I hope uh, you enjoy that. Now, uh, I hope you caught this thing at the end, what a means to an end is. It's what we were talking about with the chickens um, and animals. 
right? Are we just growing these animals so that we can eat them? Or are we caring about them throughout the entire process, right? So the same thing with Carrie, right? Are we, is Carrie just doing schoolwork so she can be part of sports? Or um, is there, or should Carrie, should Carrie care about her education throughout, right? So remember when you're finished, post your responses on Google Classroom and respond to one person per question. Alrighty. The next thing I wanted to do is talk about student data from the survey yesterday. There's a lot of really great data and I wanted to show you the data and then I wanted to ask you your thoughts. So let's go through the data really quick. The first thing to look at is um, on a scale of one to 10, how does social studies compare with other classes work? From what I've seen is uh, it's telling me that in social studies, the online class is difficult, but you're learning, all right? So a lot of people are putting that it's difficult, but I'm learning a lot, all right? That's good feedback because um, I don't want it to be too easy. That's a that's a, a problem. I, I think if it's too easy, it's just busy work. So it needs to be a little bit challenging. It's pretty good. Uh, this one says, how do you feel about your learning? So the other one was like um, comparing the classes. This one's feeling about your learning, right? Um, and as you can see, a lot of people feel like they're learning a lot. Um, a couple people feel like they're not learning that much, um, but most people feel like they're learning a lot, which is good. Other data that we're seeing, um, how are you doing the work? So most of you are doing it by yourself, 80%. Uh, while some of you are sometimes calling for help, sometimes you're getting help from people at home, um, and only 15% of you, about 14.8%, meet uh, up with a classmate virtually, right? I think I'd wanna bring this up more, and maybe try to find more opportunities for collaboration. Um, other thing, how difficult is, is it to do the social studies work? So a 10 is like too difficult, a one is it's too easy. And what we see is this nice bell curve, right? Um, right over six and seven, what does that mean? That means that most kids think that the, the work is pretty difficult, but it's not too difficult. It's on the difficult size. A couple of people think that it is too difficult and a couple of you think it's too easy. So that's telling me that I am pretty close to where I want to be. I mean, ideally uh, this would be more bigger around the five, six, seven range um, instead of the eight range. But that's, this is telling me good stuff that I need to maybe make things a little less challenging or a little less long. This one, um, when do you usually do social studies work? So we have most people doing it in the morning, a few in the midday, and very few in the evening, and it really, really few, really late. A lot of you in this section put the morning, which you should have just put the morning because you just pretty much messed up my data. But it looks like most people do, do their work early in the morning to midday. So this is telling me if we were gonna do live sessions, when we would do live sessions, right? What is working well for your learning? Well. We're seeing a couple things are working well. Um, the daily video, the presentation, the daily worksheet, the question and organization on Google Classroom. Um, pretty much the organization in general is working out pretty well. What's not working well? AWW readings. People aren't really doing them. I'm getting about two or three kids per, per lesson doing them. That's not, that's not very many. So maybe making those worth more. That might be a way to, to make them worth it more. 23%. Um, like the uh, don't like the questions in Google Classroom, so that makes me think. Okay, so of the people who do like the questions, it's either you do like the questions on Google Classroom or you don't like the questions on Google Classroom. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, and seventeen percent don't like that things get graded daily. They're probably the seventeen percent that aren't doing the work very well, so they're getting an email home saying, "Oh, you didn't do the work very well." That makes sense. Um, so st uh, students give a lot of suggestions. I just wrote down a couple. Like they said, "Hey." Let's do some Zoom meetings. Or hey, can you show us some notes instead of just making us take notes? Can you show us some notes? A couple students said, just get rid of the History Magazine project. I don't think I will get rid of the History Magazine project because I think that's where you're gonna learn the most. The people who are thinking that this is really challenging, that's good because it's gonna help you grow a lot. And some people are just asking for less work. So that's good, that's good suggestions. Um, are you looking forward to class? Looks like most people say always and sometimes. They, so most people look forward to the class, all right? It seems like, that's good, that's a good sign. What are you currently working on, all right? So 41% of you are right on track, all right? You are on paragraph two, that's where you're supposed to be, right? 15% of you are behind. You're on your intro paragraph, outline, or research. 
That's not good. 15% is kind of a lot. Uh, it's like maybe 13, 14 kids, maybe 15 kids. So please, 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 I need you to contact either me or your lead editor for help if you're behind because we're not at school every day. I can't just ask you, hey, let me see what you got. You have to ask for the help, all right? So don't forget that, ask for the help. Lead editors, if you know who this 15% is, please feel free to fill out that emergency doc or contact me, um, all right? That's really important. Student data, all righty. Uh, what we're also seeing is, what do you want me to teach to help you with the project? That's what this one was. So 20% uh, said more grammar, more structure. Uh, keep dedicating class time to working. That seems like it's really big. Um, give more essay examples. And a lot of you are saying I'm doing enough. So uh, that's, that's good, but I'm seeing that um, a lot of people just like more examples. So maybe I'll just make some more examples, get some more examples from last year to show you. Um, what would be, what would you be interested in meeting one to three times a week in a giant Zoom meeting where I teach you and you ask, uh, and you can ask questions for people who can't make it, we can record the session. Um, the slivers again are people who put other, so there's a lot of you, but most want a Zoom meeting, but a lot of people do not want to be recorded. So I'll keep that in mind. I'll see how we could maybe do that. Um, and I will be using this data to help me redesign the course over spring break but I wanna hear your thoughts, all righty? So here's the next thing you're gonna do. After looking at all the data, this is a AWW reflection. So you don't have to answer all the questions. You can answer all the questions. You can write as much as you want or as little as you want, but the more you write, the higher chance you're gonna get that AWW point to get a four for today, all right? You're gonna write your response right here, all right? When you're done writing your response in Google Classroom, you're gonna post your response here, all right? Please post your response. After you post your response, please, 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 comment. Comment on somebody, all right? Please comment and write down who you commented on. Feel free to pause this and do that right now. Ready, go. Alrighty, the last thing for today is I wanted to create a place for you to work on your history magazine project with all of your paragraphs in it. All right, so there's a new document called History Magazine Project Complete Doc. I made it so that it would be the first thing to show up on the stream because it's in a different category. All right, so either if you go to the stream, you can click on the assignment this way or if you go to classwork and then you go to history magazine project, you'll see it's the first assignment here, complete doc. What are you gonna do here? I want you to copy and paste all of the paragraphs that you have written so far in this document. It looks like this, all right? So copy and paste all the paragraphs into this document and then from here on, you're gonna write the rest of your essay here. That way you don't have to switch between documents, you don't have to think which one was the last updated, just do the rest of your history magazine project in here. Also, send a link of this document to your lead editor, super important, all right? You can erase these instructions and the title once you copy and pasted your paragraphs into this document, all right? So this is gonna be the document where you're gonna do your work for the rest of the project, all righty? And last but not least, once you do this, write yes right here that you follow the instructions above. If you don't write yes, you are not gonna get the points for it. So please write yes right here. Did you follow the directions above? Okay? And the rest of the time is to work on your history magazine project. Research, outline, first paragraph or second paragraph. Your third paragraph is due Wednesday, April 8th. All right, that's not next week. That's the week after. All righty. That means we'll have Monday and Tuesday of class. I'll probably give you class time on Tuesday, a lot of class time on Tuesday, to work on your third paragraph. So if you want to work on it over spring break, you can. But if you don't want to work on it over spring break, you can uh, wait until when we get back. But if you're behind, you need to use spring break to catch up. All righty? And remember, you can also get extra AWW points if you get your essay peer graded. All righty? Here are the instructions. And last but not least, be sure to contact your lead editor 
and let them know how you're doing. Alrighty, please let them know how you're doing. Remember, um, these due dates are incorrect at the bottom. Uh, sorry about that. Remember, if you need to make up an essay, contact Mr. Lieberman again and he'll regrade it. I will finish all the grading today. Alrighty, everybody, I hope that does uh, enough for you. Um, don't forget that you can always make an appointment if you need to right here with me and we'll look at your essay. They've been really helpful. Students have only told me that it's been super helpful. We only talk for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I look at your essay. I don't get mad at you. All I do is um, look at your essay and say what it needs. All right. Remember to cite your sources while you're writing your paragraphs. Remember, you can always do more research. Feel free to do more research. Just make sure you cite your sources. You can edit any part of the essay if you want. Now you don't even need to do this. You can just do it all inside your new document. Alrighty. And make sure you ask me for help. I don't know if you need help. So you got to ask me. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your spring break. Let me know um, if you need to make up any essays. I'm here to help you. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.